Hi everyone, this is Mehmoodul Hasgan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's vlog, we will continue our discussion on Lelit Cost module. We will explore how to add multiple purchase orders to a single voyage and walk through the process of managing and processing the voyage. Let's get started. We will create two purchase orders. To group in a single voyage let's create a new purchase order click on new add the vendor account type in the site and warehouse let's say our accounting and request ship date is the today's date click on ok add the lines items to the purchase order line let's say my item is lc001 and quantities 15 okay i will save this purchase order and also confirm this purchase order I will create an other purchase order to create click on new add the same vendor type in the different warehouse click on ok in this purchase order I will use a different product that is LC002 let's say my quantity is 20 I will save this purchase order and also confirm this purchase order okay. to add these two purchase orders in a single voyage let's go to the landed cost module under voyage click on all voyages create a new voyage add the description let's say multiple POs under a single voyage add the vessel let's say it's ocean star add the journey template it's Melbourne Australia and click on ok you can see that there are two purchase order that i have just created i will select them both to add in a voyage click on add to staging list click on view staging list for this i need to add into a new container click on add new container select the shipping container let's say my shipping date is today click on ok click on view container list in the general fast tab and under inquiries I can check the cost as well as you can see that for this purchase orders my estimated cost is 321.43 USD for 10 purchase order and for 1905 it is 428.57 I can also change the view and view the cost by voyage click ok and my estimated cost is 
50 USD for the for this wise I can also view the cost by item as well click on item okay so for these items 3 to 1 point four three USD is for my first item and for my second item it is four to eight point five seven I can also change the view to view these costs for cost type codes click on OK and I can see that the duty is 350 and freight is 400 USD okay so if I go to the select this folio or the purchase order number click on voyage cost you can see that estimated cost is not applied yet for both of my folios it is because I don't have invoiced uh, these purchase orders let's go and invoice these purchase orders as well click on manage click on post invoice enter the invoice number and click on post okay so my invoice is posted and if I go again to the voyage cost my estimated cost is applied on the on my purchase orders If I go to general cost inquiry again, my actual cost is still not updated. To update my actual cost, I will go to let's duplicate my tab. Let's say actual invoice is received from the vendor. I will go to the invoice journal click on new and a journal name let's say APS invoice is my journal name click on lines select my vendor account my both of the POs were for the same vendor I will select the Acme office supplies type in the invoice number Let's say my credit amount is 1500 USD. Click on function and select voyage cost. Select my voyage. Yeah, multiple POs dash voyages was my voyage click on OK as you can see that my estimated cost is there and I will distribute it to my actual cost let's say for freight it is 1000 USD click on OK click on distribute again and the for the duty is it's 500 click on OK as you can see that my actual cost is allocated and selected click on OK now I can post the invoice channel for this let me first go to the invoice and add the approval of this invoice select the approver click on save click on validate to validate the journal click on post 
to pause this channel. Okay, so my invoice channel is posted. If I go back to my cost inquiry, refresh it there. And go to my voice cost. You can see that my estimated cost was 400 and my actual cost is now 1000 for the freight on this product. If I go to the cost inquiry again, you can see that my actual cost is also updated on the cost inquiry. I can view I can view the cost by changing on the different items. Let's say on the voyage level, select voyage and click OK. My actual cost is updated as well. And for the POs, click on the reference, click OK. You can see that for my POs, my cost is also updated. If I go to the and see item wise, click OK, and item wise cost is also updated. Okay, that's uh, was. Uh, our journey we have viewed how we can create the purchase orders and also assign those multiple purchase order to a single voyage and process it through the estimated and actual cost that's conclude our today's session stay tuned for upcoming content on the microsoft dynamics 365 where you will continue to explore more features and insights thank you for watching and see you in the next video goodbye